is GCS transcendent or exceeded? Let's end that debate now. Previously, some others based on the research suggested that GCF is transcendent. However, latest research clearly demonstrates that GCF is exudate based on the components, based on its composition. In fact, it is inflammatory exudate. So, as you can see in Carranza, the standard reference, they have clearly mentioned that GCF is an inflammatory exudate. Its presence in clinically normal sulci can be explained because gingiva that appears clinically normal invariably exhibits inflammation when it is examined microscopically. So you can expect a certain reason type of question from this particular area. And also the amount of GCF is proportional to inflammation is greater when inflammation is present. It is sometimes proportional to the severity of the inflammation. And GCF production is not increased by trauma from occlusion. However, it is increased by the mastication of coarse foods, toothbrushing, gingival massage, ovulation, hormonal contraceptives, prosthetic appliances, smoking, etc. And also, most importantly, there is variation in GCF levels based on circadian rhythms. As you can see, in the morning time or from morning 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., there is gradual increase in GCF and thereafter there is a decrease. And also in case of periodontal therapy, it's clearly mentioned that there is increase in GCF production, right? So now I hope that it's amply clear to all of you that GCF is inflammatory exudate. So stay tuned for more such informative revision videos before the final exam. All the very best.